What is up YouTube gods and goddesses? It is your boy Mike from Duck Walk Professional and we are here at Nan's house in Florida, Hope Sound. And we got some guys doing some tree work here because they came around the block and I did that shit last year. It's a pain in the ass. They offered to do it for a good price, so for the boys. You. Okay, we had the boys come over that trimmed the tree up for us. We also had them help us out real big with this project here. We had a huge root right there that was compromising that sprinkle, uh, sprinkler right there, busted the tea out. So we needed them to use their chainsaw to cut that out. While they were here, they cut out a bunch of the dead that was in the tree there. And eventually we're going to need to have this whole boy trimmed down and pruned up, but that's for another day, not for today. Come on, we need change. We need 15 dollars in change. Yeah, whoever wants, one of them was for the ball, so whatever. All right, guys, you got, you got 10 bucks, 10 bucks tip and Coke and Gatorade. That we're even, right? All right, next time, give me a good price on top and the back. What do you say? For 200 bucks? Right now. Right now. Right now. Fuck, man. Let us do it while we All right, just do it. Do it, the city. Yeah, they come with a clam truck. It's part of their taxes, Nan's taxes that she pays. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, like. Haircut at the barber salon. How do you feel, Nan? Wonderful. Okay, yes. cool. Yes. Alright boys, we are down here. We're about to go in the Rockies Ace Hardware Store down in Hope Sound, Florida. Got to get some more sprinkler parts. Show you guys what I'm working with. Also, some topsoil for the hole, for the dream. Being down in Florida, it's hot as hell. But, a lot of old people. A lot of good looking girls too. You. Okay, these are the parts that we need to get right here. I need to get this T with the screw in so I can put this 90 in. And then this was the pipe that got broken by that big root that grew under. We had to have the boys with the chainsaw chop it out. So we're gonna head in the ace now. I don't think I can bring you guys along, but I'll show you what's up afterwards. Phew. We got finished with the ace mission. Um, we just got to load up the Rockies topsoil in the back of the truck. Um, hopefully I got all the parts and the pipe that I need it. I also got a Keep Life um, tape measure in there and got all the parts in the bag there and we're going to load up with the topsoil now for the dream. Got the 
them ace bags loaded up for the dream. And then we got a landscaping god over here. J&M, we got a J&M and Brigantine too. But we're just heading out now for the dream. This, this Florida lifestyle is heavy. When you got these palm trees in the back and it's hot as hell and you're sweating your ass off and you got to go out to dinner early at 5 o'clock because that's when the old people go out to eat. Can be pretty fun. Now what's the problem? Check this dude out. See how heavy this guy's lifestyle is. He probably loves it too. That's America. That's America for you. That's a lesson to the boys that you need to um, get your estates and your affairs and your money assets in order because you don't want to be old like that guy thinking you need to retire and then fucking be out here wearing, uh, waving an American flag sign. But I'm not hating on him because maybe he just wants to get it away from his wife for the day. And I could feel that. You know, sometimes I need to get away from, you know, whatever we got. So he might as well earn a little bit of extra money. But if he's doing that out of necessity, whew, I guess it's better than begging or sucking dick. <laughs> you. Okay, we made it home back to Nan's house. Getting ready for that 5 o'clock dinner. Freaking awesome. Just waiting for Nan right now, and I can't stand just sitting around, so I gotta do some stuff. Right now, she's putting on her face, as she calls it, putting makeup on. I just wanna let all the girls out there know that if you're looking to court the mop god, you don't need to all that makeup. You don't need to spend the time for that. There's no sense in looking like a clown. And like I have this feeling about the, the clown's beauty isn't necessarily his face and the way he's made up. It's, it's in his heart and his performance is what really makes the clown the most beautiful. So I think all you ladies got it backwards. You think the clown needs to be all made up and look pretty, but really it's what shines inside your soul that sets you apart from the next clown. Ew. I want to show you guys what I did under here. A couple of years ago, I underneath this palm tree that Nan has in her driveway, there was nothing under there. She planted seasonal plants. So I said, let's get something perennial that comes up every year. And this is called a Mexican heather. And it has these little purple flowers on it. And it's basically like a ground cover. So when I planted it, it was just a little teeny circle around it. And eventually now it's spreading out covering the whole thing for the dream, keeping the weeds out. So basically what I'm trying to say with this is being a landscaper in different places with different types of plants, you have to know what plants to use in what region so that you can get the best benefits. And for me, that was a learning process. I said, I read a couple of the tags. I said, let's try this. And it ended up working out good. So we'll see. Phew. Man's, um flower planters cracked there by her door so she wants me to put a new one in there so I got the topsoil there laid out and uh, I had to buy some topsoil for some of these other holes that we had back here with the sprinklers one of them is in an erosion hole and the other holes with the sprinklers the sand and the soil around here is just really really sandy and fine so like when I dig a hole with this sprinkler, like I got that little mound of soil right there, that's never gonna fill that whole hole up. So I had to get a couple of bags and we got some bags for that hole. Here's the tree we were trimming yesterday. Basically just topped it off. I'm not too happy with this over here. I gotta take a couple limbs that are hanging off right there low, but other than that, it worked out good. Um, I didn't fall out the tree. None of the boys got hurt. So we'll see what happens when the waste management comes to pick up that big ass pile of debris. So that'll be the answer. If they don't charge us, if I chopped it up enough, they were claiming it had to be within six feet lengths. And like some of these are, you know, they're huge. 
these pieces. So I had to chop them out a couple times. Um, I had to break a lot of stuff down and I piled it up high so that it wasn't spread out, you know, 12 foot long. I made an 8 foot pile but piled it up 12 foot high. Basically the mission is to get that hole filled in with these bags of topsoil for Nanny. For the dream. Okay, we are on our way now to Duffy's. They got a trivia dinner that all these ladies and these gentlemen go to in this community center. And you know we are supposed to leave at 5 o'clock. But you know Nan is never on time and I told you guys that. So right now the time is, I want to say it's 5.12 and we're going to pick up the other lady. So we'll see how this works for the dream. Phew. All right, we just dropped Nan off in the front here because you know her and her friend are a little bit older and I'm such a gentleman I just drop them off right at the front then I park the car and I walk in because that's what a gentleman does and ladies that's what your man should do for you so look at me we're at Duffy's here in Stewart um, Florida and we're about to check this scene out for the boys you playing trivia with all the oldies I thought you got lost out there. Mike. No, I had to drop them off in the front. You know? Oh, yeah. And then, and I'll, park, yeah, yeah. then I'll park, yeah. Can I have another beer when you get a chance, please? Grossing movies with Al Pacino. And this is not adjusted for inflation. So again, Godfather, one, two, and three are out. So I need the top four highest grossing movies. So ladies and gentlemen, question number, question number 15. I need four answers. 